Hi kids, you're listening to the Internet Grandpa, and today you're going to hear the story, The Ice Race. It's a Clifford the Big Red Dog book. Before we get started, please click like and subscribe. That helps the YouTube algorithm find more videos that you like, or at least similar videos that you might like. But let's begin. It was a cold day on Birdwell Island, perfect for this year's dog sledding race. Clifford and his friends were the hometown team, the Island Heroes. Everyone warmed up. T-Bone squatted. Cleo touched her toes. Max stretched and Clifford ate power biscuits. The mighty Huskies marched to the starting line. They look tough, said T-Bone. But they don't look like they're having fun, said Cleo. What do you think? Do they look like they're having fun? They look cool with the sunglasses on, huh? Emily Elizabeth saw that the island heroes felt nervous. She began to chant, We can do it! Yes, we can! On your mark, get set, go! The race was on. A strong wind blew Emily Elizabeth's map onto the frozen lake. Oh no, she cried. T-Bone carefully skated onto the lake. He grabbed the map and slid back to land. Good dog, T-Bone, said Emily Elizabeth. Soon, everyone felt hungry. The island heroes stopped for lunch. Oh no, cried Emily Elizabeth. The lunches fell off. The lunches fell out of the sled. Look, oh, that must have been the lunches there in that green thing. Oh, and here they're gone. Oh, no. What are they going to do? Emily Elizabeth had chocolate in her pocket, but the dogs couldn't eat that. No, nope, it's not good for dogs to eat chocolate. Then Mac dug up bones he had buried last fall. Each dog had an icy treat. Mmm, mmm, look at those bones. Yummy, yummy. The team came to a fork in the road, and they took it. <laughs> Actually, it says they turned left. Soon, they had lost the trail of the race course. They were off the map. Clifford lifted Emily Elizabeth up to the top of the lighthouse. She saw the finish line. Oh, I see it over there. It says finish. Maybe over here is Swedish. No? <laughs> that was a bad joke. <laughs> the island heroes raced as fast as they could, but the team was losing steam. Clifford slowed down. T-Bone slowed down. Cleo and Mac did too. We can do it, cried Emily Elizabeth. Yes, we can. All the dogs got a second wind. The mighty Huskies were only a few yards from the finish line. The island heroes ran faster to catch up. Cleo closed her eyes. She couldn't bear to look. With one last long stride from Clifford, the island heroes won. The crowd went wild. The mighty Huskies congratulated them. You make racing look fun. That's because it is, said Clifford. Everyone had fun celebrating. Now, here's your quiz. <laughs> Do you remember? What was the name of Clifford's team? Was it the Hometown Hounds? The Island Heroes? Or the Mighty Huskies? 
Yeah, you got it right. It was the Island Heroes. How about number two? What did the wind blow onto the lake? Was it Emily Elizabeth's hat? Emily Elizabeth's scarf? Was it Emily Elizabeth's map? Oh, you guys are so smart. You got it right. It was the map. Yes. Now you're supposed to tell us which happened first, next, and last. So Clifford list, lifted Emily Elizabeth onto the lighthouse. The hometown team's lunch fell out of the sled. And Clifford's team took a wrong turn. So which happened first? Which happened in the middle? And which happened last? So what was first? Yeah, that's right. They lost their lunch. And what was second? <laughs> oh, you're right again. They took a wrong turn. And so the last one had to be Clifford lifting Emily Elizabeth onto the lighthouse. And after that, they raced to the end of the uh, race and won. Well, that's the end of this story. I hope you liked it. Please come back. Thank you so much for listening in. As our friend Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Love you guys. Bye-bye.